Hello Aquarius, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to be well. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles can be reversed between you and that person. I also want to remind you guys, as I always say, I run no daycare. So just know that this is entirely general, okay? So with this said, let's go with the five for ones. We got the four of pentacles in the reverse. We got the ace of pentacles in the reverse. All of the reverses, okay? Okay, okay. We got here the ten of pentacles. At least this is like better. We got the nine of swords in reverse again and over all energy, please. Thank you so much. The king of wands in reverse and the page of wands in the reverse. I'm just gonna put it sideways because I don't have a lot of space. So, what do we have here? So I do see right here that you have some like enemies who have beef with you, but you don't have beef with them. These are people that could be uh, fire signs or earth signs. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, I do see like these people just don't like you. It's because they're jealous of you. This could be on your work uh, space. This could be even family members. Like this is like people who are around you who are openly about how they don't like you. People who talk a lot of things about you uh i do feel like you maybe maybe you don't know this but these people that you have a sense of like oh they don't like me a lot bro they have a chat on whatsapp and they talk about you how much they dislike you for whatever reason is because a million percent they're jealous of you because they consider you they consider you like very attractive or very or very uh i wouldn't say important only but successful it's like they envy your confidence they envy your happiness they envy a lot of things about you and they just don't like you generally and they actually feel with the ace of pentacles here that everything you had in life or everything you get is because of your looks they don't really think that you work hard for it for it and they like to minimize your struggles and they like to minimize your efforts it's like oh yeah when you if you were to talk about something that happened to you they're like oh yeah i don't care like it's because you're too pretty or you're just acting up like that because you're pretty and like stuff like that you know or attractive with the ten of pentacles and the nine of swords in the reverse right here I do see that you are going to do very good with your either or business idea or your jobs. I do see that your money is actually not minimizing, but actually growing. And I do see with the nine of swords, this is getting them angrier because there's people here who actually either or prayed or manifested your downfall at this point. It's like they don't like you and they're like, oh, I don't want this person to succeed. Keep in mind that these people will have to bite their tongue to see you achieve all the things you're about to achieve because haters don't win just so you know with the king of wands in the reverse right here and they're gonna get even angrier because there's somebody here who is let's say quite popular or they could be very attractive and this person is going to ask you out we have a very strong leo aries energy who is going to ask you out this is someone that maybe you have never had a relationship with let's say but it's someone that you had definitely think he or she is attractive now with the picture ones right here you're going to be very very excited because this person who happens to be an aries energy is going to ask you out and it's like they have a crush on you <laughs> it's so funny i gotta see this capricorn energy in the ten in the seven of pentacles towards real capricorn very strong capricorn uh it's telling me right here that all these people will be so mad they're gonna be so mad because they always wanted this person or like they try to flirt with this person or so and it never worked out this person like literally never pay any attention to their flirtatious ways and it's like they could have been also gotten rejected so the fact that this person literally approached you and this could be in the environment at work this could be a work a co-worker that's very attractive that other people want and nobody got and now they're asking and this person is asking you out and this and these people are mad they're mad that they like but why did he or did she ask this person out if not me you know so <laughs> So funny let's see what else I see what 
What else do I see for Aquarius, though? The Eight of Cups in Reverse, the Five of Wands, the Hermit, the Hangman, <laughs> the Six of Cups, overall energy, please. We got the Ace of Cups, and can we do, yeah, that's good. So, with the Eight of Cups in the Reverse and the Five of Wands, we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So, with the Eight of Cups in the Reverse and the Five of right here. In the reverse, we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries as well. Um, I do see like there's a lot of people wanting to separate you both. It's like they're going to try to get in the way. There's a lot of competition, a lot of conflict due to this new relationship of you and somebody else. Uh, I, uh, I do see right here Virgo Energy and, her, and the Hitman is just like even though maybe somebody that hasn't talked to you in a minute or that you're not very close with is going to try to friend you be careful with this person and also keep your relationship secret for as much as you can because they're just trying to get info and they're trying to get you know you both separated with the six of cups and the ace of cups right here keep in mind that there is no other person for this person to ask you out besides you they really really want you and they actually want to maybe have a relationship with you keep in mind that a lot of rumors can you know surface because your person now in the past could have been like a you know player and whatnot but keep in mind that people decide who to settle with and who to not settle with and they chose you so just so you know these rumors are non-founded they're just caused by jealousy and because everybody wants to take your place at this point and the fact that you got the guy or the girl that everybody wanted has everybody like shook Keep in mind as well that nobody will be able to separate the both of you, even though that is going to be competition there, a lot of competition, but your relationship is just going to increase. And I do feel like you guys could actually get into like engagement and or even living together. Let's see what else. I this person, uh, the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords. I see that this person is not interested uh, with an ex. I do feel like also an ex could be trying to get in the way because they don't accept that whoever, this could be you or them or the person you are going to be involved with now has moved on. And keep in mind that this person that's an ex has no influence and neither of energy. So they're not going to do anything. It's like, don't pay mind to it. Don't pay attention to it. With the King of Swords, this person that is asking you out that you like uh, is telling or your crush, let's call it like that. He or she um, has like their mindset and like they want to be with you. They find you very attractive and they're actually wanting to you know get to know you and actually have a long-term relationship as well with the three of ones right here i do see like there is multiple paths to take with this person i do see that you may guys need to move because i feel it could be related to anybody's job like this could be your job or their job or it's like more like a new job opportunity but i do see like this foundation going into multiple stages meaning that this relationship that maybe seems so little is going to end in higher levels of commitment with the chariot right here cancer energy as well i do see that you guys could actually move quite fast compared to other ways or compared to your other ways or their other ways of moving you know with with a relationship as well as perhaps people may say oh you're moving too fast it's because you guys have a very intense chemistry there's a lot of attraction and care and love and also you guys are adults like what do people care how you move or don't move you know so at this point i do see that you guys are moving forward confidently you guys are not gonna care about opinions you guys are moving together most likely within three months of dating to four and whatever happens happens because you guys are adults right With the 901s right here, I do see that the rumors are going to stop because I feel like you both are going to be shutting it down. There's not going to be anything that's going to separate you both of you. I also see five cups and four of ones. The people that, that wanted to separate you or get in the way <coughs> are going to be disappointed and heartbroken and mad. But they're going to stop because they realize that it's not working. 
with the seven of swords right here i do see that there is uh like i said before um they never thought that you guys were gonna fight back and it seems like you guys got together as a team and you guys like said you know stop it and you guys like stop these people and stop these rumors and people just went shush they didn't know what to say or they will not know what to say with the emperor and the reverse right here this person is saying like, hey i want aquarius that's the only person i want and i don't care what you say they are the one for me <coughs> finally you both are like a proper couple you both are uh dream team i also see that with the six of swords uh they're still working on finding balance finding balance you know like um find some sort of organization and stability also talking about work besides the point is telling you that there's a need for you to multitask and find priorities on your schedule you need to actually find priorities on your schedule you don't want to be to make your job your full life and also you don't want to make your life just that because you know it will actually bring unbalance in energies but there's a need for the both of you to work on priorities when it comes to scheduling and organization with the two of cups once again you guys are soulmates you guys are perfect together i do see like there's a lot of love for the both of you there's no cheating there's no unfaithful energies there's no doubts none of that <clears throat> gemini energy the lovers you guys are definitely soulmates i do feel like you're gonna end up with your soulmate and you didn't even think about that like you never thought you were gonna end up with a soulmate and you are let's see how your money is looking now with the ace of wands in the reverse i do see like there is a like a desire of doing better or a desire of doing something and it's still a desire you haven't actually you haven't actually done it let me get but they're also telling me stop being afraid and embrace change um if you want this intention to become a reality you need to be able to either or let go of something and allow the new beginnings to you know pop into your life otherwise you're always going to be in a way duck you are afraid of failure perhaps you're afraid of like what if it doesn't work what if people talk about me just so you know with the nine of swords the universe will never give you a task or a desire or a talent that you were not able to make good use for or use of i do understand that life is hard but you need to understand that you are like a knight this situation in your love life is going amazing but in your in your money maybe needs to be also open to change you need to understand that when it comes to your career this is a quest that only you and you only are able to conquer and that's why when you ask for advice from other people they can give you good perspective or they will never give you exactly what you want to hear because they don't feel like you feel and they don't have the intensity and the love that you have for whatever it is that you want to create you know what i'm trying to say so i do feel like you will never know if you don't try you know you always will be in the what if but with the two of swords right here keep in mind that anything you do in life especially when it comes to money or career there's always going to be competition there's always going to be people saying that somebody else does it better at the end of the day you have to stick to your idea have faith in yourself have faith in this project and understand that your project idea or business will find the right people you know because there is people for everybody for example there's people who hate my readings and hate how i read there's people who you could see here who love my readings and all of that so it's not meant we are not meant to be liked and loved by every single one of the people that we encounter we are just actually meant to do our thing how we want it how we really want it and how we really trust it and we'll find that way and that energy will actually keep you find allowing you to find the right people With the six of pentacles in the reverse right here uh, i do see that there's not going to be a lot of support when it comes around you uh keep in mind sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader and if you don't trust in yourself how can you <coughs> push forward i feel like sometimes we expect the people who love us to also love what we want or believe and it's not always like that but do not feel uh like a failure do not feel like like surrendering because you don't get the support from somebody that you thought they would now they show you their true colors when you achieve the success like mirror the same energy with the hangman in reverse um, adjust to new ideas see things from a different perspective believe in the universe because there is a divine plan for you it's not i'm sorry it, there is a divine plan for you with the five of ones there's always going to be conflict there's always going to be uh like you know like 
competition, but with the Ace of Pentacles, the only one that can achieve this, can actually have this new idea, this new project, this new revenue is you. You need to be able to see this on a different perspective. Hold tied to your religious beliefs because it's actually one of the things that's going to continue to give fuel to that desire with the judgment in reverse if you were to overcome all of that judgment you are going to actually have some completion and you will actually finally understand that you never wasted your time and that this idea was actually a good idea and that it actually will bring a new a new income this could be because you want to move just because it sounds like it's too complex they're telling you that if you were to overcome all of this because there's going to be challenges yes um they want you to know that you will be successful but it depends on you your career is in your hands the future of your career is in your hands and there is a new idea slash project coming your way but it depends how you handle it that's going to depend how successful it is so let me give you some initials here This could be from the first, last, middle, or even a nickname from their names. So we got here, um, uh, this is the newer person, S and Sam, KS and KFC, RS and Rose, HS and Hamburger, PS and Peter, BS and Boy, TS and Tyler, VS and Victor, JS and Jason, and one more, and CS and Kat. So these are the possible initials of whoever the new energy is coming your way. I also want to give you an angel's number follow with an angel's message okay aquarius we got angel 178 all of your positive thoughts and affirmation have resulted in increasing flow of increasing increasing flow of financial abundance keep it up um, angel 179 you are on the right path for divine life purpose continue with your visualizations and expect a happy outcome as your expectations are determining your future uh, angel 180 your positive thoughts and prayers are bringing forth an increasing flow of financial abundance angel 181 to heal your financial situation use positive affirmation and visualize your abundance yeah that's that so this is the end of your reading, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have a giveaway going, so you want to make sure to check out that video. Uh, also show you my social media. So if you follow me on Instagram, I always follow back. I have a TikTok. I have a small group on Facebook. I have an upcoming project on my podcast where I'm going to be offering to reading classes as well as I have a new podcast here on YouTube. That's a new thing that they brought and where I talk about other uh, multiple topics. I'm open to suggestions as well not always related to tarot of course so if you want to check it out please do as well as i am open for personal reading so if you want a personal reading with me make sure to book directly on my website always place on the description box below on every video and that's when you're gonna be able to place an uh a request for an appointment with me uh, i want to also remind you that i never offer any readings uh outside the giveaways for free at all no services at all and i never message on any of my platforms requesting or uh, offering tarot reading services as i said before i never done that i do not do that and the only way you can book is through this website that i exclusively put here on youtube so with this said i want to thank you once again have an amazing day and love you guys